Hey, what's up? It's Gazbot. I'm here at Colossus Con Pleasanton with the Big Dog. Oh yeah. Hey there, it's me, Gazbot, once again, talking to you today about Colossus Con. Colossus Con is, uh, it was at one point the name of one small local convention, uh, and I mix it up sometimes. There is a Colossal Con, which is not near me, and I don't know much about it, except that it's another convention. Colossus Con uh, is, was the sister partner con to Campbell Con. And I think they're all run by the same people, and now they have a few other shows. They had one in Merced last year. Uh, this one was in Pleasanton. And so I think now it's Colossus Girl Entertainment or something along those lines. They're in the middle of rebranding, so I'm not exactly sure. But they have several shows, all local to the Bay Area, usually one-day shows, usually smaller shows with a low table cost. So it's a, it's a good kind of starter show. Well, it's actually a notch above a starter show. It's a good... Uh, second show maybe. It could work as your first show, certainly, but there are smaller shows, possibly free shows at a library, free comic book day, something like that. But if you're like just getting into spending money on a table, this is probably a good one because it's a low risk and if it's local for you, whatever. So even if you lose all your money, you've lost $60, which I understand could be a lot to some people, but most shows are 100 or more. So anyway, I'm going to go ahead and cut to footage of me being worried about not being ready for the show and then we'll see some footage from the show floor and at the end I'll wrap up let you know what I thought how much money I made if it's worth it for you etc so off to me in the past go now us it's Friday um late afternoon early evening and I've got so much to do I got my show tomorrow which is Colossal Con in Pleasanton one day show but I haven't really done much to prepare for it and then the day after that, early in the morning, 7 in the morning, 7 in the morning is a flight, so like, really I'm going to get up at 4, uh, be super tired because I probably will have been asleep for about a minute, and then flying to New Jersey. So, the last two to three days, I have not been preparing to go to New Jersey, and I've not been preparing for my show. I have been practicing with Procreate and the iPad to make sure I'll be able to work on my trip, and I have been uh, hardcore studying Japanese because we didn't have a class this week, we had a tutorial session. Uh, and I'd catch up on homework and get stuff ready so that, similar to my art stuff, I don't want to be two to three weeks behind in my studies having been away. So, yeah, I've also been cleaning the house and doing other things and uh, organizing, getting things ready for the cats to be taken care of and blah, 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 blah. But anyway, I stopped my mail coming to my house. Now I gotta go to the front office and let them know I won't be here in case any mail comes here from UPS, FedEx, etc. Boring, but necessary. And all right, let's get in it. Here's the ad that was created that we could share to let people know that we would be at Colossus Con Pleasanton. It was in sort of a, it looks hangary, but it's a lot nicer than the uh, annex on the side of the Santa Clara Convention Center. Here's my table set up. I have hiccups. Good. I'm just going to keep going. I don't care. And uh, I didn't do a great job of filming, but it was fairly well attended. Uh, it, I wouldn't go so far as to say it was crowded, but it was definitely well attended. Uh, a fair amount of cosplayers that had um, the 501st Legion, I'm assuming, and the rebel version of that, the, the hero version of that. There's the big dog. Here's behind my table. You can see that's the sketch cover uh, of the White Ranger I've been carrying around that eventually sold. Also picked up some sketch covers. The big dog got me a few on sale, which is good. It's always nice to have a good stock of those. Uh, there's some of the Celebrity Row. They had some VR Trooper people, some um, voice actors from G.I. Joe and other things. I keep hiccuping. There's Kathy Garver, who I know is the voice of Firestar from Spider-Man and Amazing Friends. That's Michael Bell. Uh, like I said, a fair amount of celebrities. Boy, oh boy, am I hiccuping. <laughs> and there's Bell and whatever. And so this is generally what you see here. Um, they had some craft people, a lot of artists. You know, again, it was a very small to mid-range Comic-Con. I mean, I would call it small... Other. People might not feel that way, but just uh, since I've been to so many, this is on the smaller side, but I liked it. It wasn't so small that there was nothing going on. It wasn't so small that it wasn't nicely attended. Uh, I had a few things to look at, you know, one or two times I was able to walk away from my table. There was other artists to talk to, things of that nature. Oh, here's some G.I. Joe cosplayers. Uh, there was a battalion of them or whatever you call it. Uh, yeah, and it, and it was pretty good. So I'm going to cut that back to me. Oh, my gosh. I keep hiccuping. There's some pixel art, some be pearl or bead art. Yes. So here I am at Colossus Con Pleasanton. It's about 1.30. It started at 10. I got here, ate something for the setup, um, and uh, there's a Gokai Red or Super Mega Force Red. 
Uh, it started off pretty slow. Um, friendly people, bigger than I thought it was going to be, a little bit more well set up than I thought it was going to be. Um, but it did start slow and I was getting worried I wasn't even going to make a uh, table. However, it has picked up since 12 o'clock. I haven't counted my money while sitting at the table. However, I'm pretty sure I have at least made table and will not be losing money, so that's good. Uh, anyway, on to the whatever. I will say one thing I did not like was finding the this place was hard. There was a couple different conventions going on or events in the area, uh, and I'm just showing some cosplay here. And it, it, it was sort of, a, we had to go past it, turn around, then drive through the whole sort of compound to get to it. Once we got there, parking was fine and it wasn't that crowded, but for some reason we had to spend 10, 15 minutes figuring out how to get there. That was not great, but, you know, I, if that was the worst thing I could say about it, that's not 504, bad. and you could tell it's a one-day show because everybody's already breaking down seconds after the bell has rung. I uh, haven't done the final tally yet, but I think I'm ahead. I've definitely made table. Mm. And we're done. It's been a weird day with weather. It's gorgeous out right now. It's sunny, uh, it's warm, but it's a little breezy. But earlier it was overcast and pouring, it, and it kind of went back and forth all day. Um, better show than I thought it was going to be. I wasn't really sure what to expect. It was, you know, seemingly well run and it looked put well together and it had actually a place where I can get cappuccino and it was only $5, which is a lot, but not for a show. And it was an actual cappuccino, not a crappy coffee with no milk. Um, in terms of sales, I did okay. Uh, again, I have to go and do the math. I did waste some of my profits buying some Captain Britain comics, but you know, it is a comic show, so whatever. And uh, yeah. I'll, uh, I'll talk more later. I didn't do a lot of on-the-scene reporting. Oh, I did do one sketch cover, uh, which I will show you here. It was a Dragon Zord pencil head sketch on a Power Rangers sketch cover. Yeah, here it is. Hmm. Huh. Just got done packing up, and as you can see, it's another one of those shows where I was one of the very last people to be done. Right around this time when the show was over and most of the vendors had even left, a group of, uh, I guess kids, it was hard to tell how old they were, somewhere between teenagers and 30, <laughs> uh, sort of ran through singing something, and, and I remember being annoyed, like, not that they were ruining the show, but just like, what are you doing, and it, like, some kind of choir kids from another thing or whatever, I don't even know what they were doing, but they're just running through singing, and, uh, they all kind of had what looked like sc school uniforms, and I kind of realized, oh, they're not, like, from a choir group or whatever, they were, like, anime fans, probably dressed in some school uniform from that anime and they were maybe singing the theme song or something but i was like ah this is i'm annoyed not enough to say anything or do anything but i was like ah this shut up you know in my head and as i was thinking this across the way and down a few tables one of the other few tables that had not completely packed up there was a woman who was older than me i don't know how old she was but noticeably older and she did say something clearly also annoyed at them and said something along the lines of like oh it's not sack anime which is Sacramento anime convention and yes I'm still hiccuping and uh, you know implying that it was indeed an anime group and that they didn't belong here at this comic-con although there was some anime there too and I don't understand the distinction exactly but whatever but the point is she was irritated and yelled something at him about you know stop having fun essentially and I'm gl glad she did not because good for you saying something uh, quite the opposite Cause I'm like wow I I don't want to be here in 10 years or 20 years or however you know long <laughs> I uh, I was being kind of grumpy and cranky at some kids that were just running by having fun, and uh, that is crappy of me. And her yelling at them was even worse. Not that they, like, and I don't want to overstate it. Like, they, they didn't cry. They were probably halfway out of the room, but she said anything. So it's not like she really hurt them. And it wasn't about what she did to them. It's more about the ad attitude that I don't want to have. And she might have been kidding. I don't even know. I don't want to put too much on this lady. But the point is, I was annoyed at them, saw her man manifest a similar annoyance uh, outwardly and I didn't like it and so I made a mental note hey let people have fun I like to have fun they're a little bit younger they have a different kind of fun just because I had a long day stop bothering them with your thoughts because I didn't actually say anything but you know what I'm saying it was a mental check to like not become a grumpy old person uh, so I'm glad that 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 happened. Now, what we've been staring at this whole time is Heroes and Villains Comics, which was about a foot away from where we were. So it was great. There was a comic store right there. We stopped in, looked around. It was a small little shop, but they were friendly. Uh, I didn't buy anything. That's not true. I bought a water. <laughs> but I stupidly did not think to bring any of my comics in. I had them with me in the car, but we went in there. I didn't even ask if they wanted to carry them, and then we left. And like way later, I'm like, oh, I'm an idiot. I should have seen if they wanted to carry it. But that's, uh, that's why you're looking at that right now.
That is by far the best Power Rangers display I've seen. Oh, wow. Look at that. Look at that. Really cool. Look at it. So, what about those totals? The numbers, the crunching, the accounting? Well, here's how it breaks down. It was a one-day show. The table cost $60. I made gross profits of $197, which means uh, I made... Not counting material costs and things like that, I made $137. Now, it was a one-day show, so I didn't have to have a hotel. Travel was easy. It was about a half hour from my house. Uh, I spent a few bucks on a cappuccino, a few bucks on a few comics, which I'm not going to worry about. So, you know, I made, even if you deduct gas and some of my printing costs, I, I made around $100 profit. Clear, like, full, real profit. Um, and I sold three copies of my comic, The Horror A4, which is always good. I sold a lot of prints, which is the bulk of the, the money. One thing I sold uh, was the Dragon Zord sketch cover that was commissioned at the show. Another thing I sold was a White Ranger sketch cover, which I had had with my stuff for a, close to a year. I had done San Francisco Comic Con last year, 2016, and was doing a lot of Power Ranger sketch covers, and I had done that one as sort of a demo to show people, and it just, for whatever reason, didn't sell, even though others were, and I brought show to show to show to show, and finally somebody bought it. And this goes back to something I always talk about, too, where I have old prints that nobody buys, you know, from five years ago that I just got, like, two or three left kicking around. I'm not printing them anymore, but I still bring them to every show, and eventually they sell, and the same with this sketch cover. I brought it to every show for close to a year, nobody bought it, suddenly, boom, there's an extra 30 bucks. So, good that. This show worked out better than I thought it would. The the, the rebranding, it's like Colossal Girl, and now it's, I, I don't know, the rebranding, but it's a, a bunch of local Bay Area shows, most of them one day, all smaller, all reasonably uh, inexpensive for the table. I like them. I did Merced last year and didn't do well, but I did CampbellCon two years ago and did well. I did this one and did, did well. I'm thinking about doing CampbellCon again this year. I'm thinking about doing Merced again this year. Uh, I, I'm a little bit better than 50% uh, track record with this group, um, and, and even the show I didn't do well at, I'm treated well. It's well run. It just I don't know if it wasn't advertised well or it's a bad area or what. Uh, so I, I suggest trying these if you're a smaller artist or a smaller vendor of some sort because it, it's a low risk thing. If you're local and it's a one day show, you only need to make a hundred bucks to, to make money. Now, if you're like, well, it's not worth a whole day to make a hundred bucks, well, then it's not worth it. Uh, and, and it might not be if you're selling figures and things and you're like a store, but if you're an artist, I always feel like if I'm out there showing my work, talking to people, and I make money, even if it's not a lot of money, it's worth it. If I make no money or if I lose money, then maybe it's not worth it. But, you know, I made a hundred-ish bucks for one day, close to my house, got to meet and talk to a lot of cool people. You meet the artist next to you and, you know, trade prints and things like that. And it's it's a worthwhile day for sure. So I would say if you get a chance to do this convention, do it. Uh, and, you know, other people I'm sure did better than me. Some people did worse, whatever. But I, I, I think my experience was probably very average. So, you know, hopefully that'll be your average. But I'm going to go now and I will talk to you the next time I have a convention update or one of my other videos. I do vlogs and I do production reports on my Horror A4 and I'm not gonna use the next finger. I do toy reviews sometimes, things like that, travel logs. I think the next video up will probably be about my trip to New Jersey, which isn't sp very art related, but you know, it's a vlog, what are you gonna do? If not, I will see you on the next convention report. This is Gazbot, going down. See, I went up, I said down, I hit my hand on the fan, I'm gonna walk this way instead. Hey, also, you can like and subscribe if you want. I don't say that often enough. You know you have the option. I'm just reminding you. I hate commercials. Foo! And thanks for watching this tutorial. <laughs> don't know much about it, but Colossal... Ah, oh, see? I'm messing it up again.